Hey folks, Ray from DCRainmaker.com here. Take a little bit of a different video for you. So if you're here mostly for like bike computers and power meters and stuff, you might just want to skip on to tomorrow's video or yesterday's or something else. Uh, but if you're here for more like gimbals and action cameras, then you'll probably find this fascinating. Uh, so for the last you know week or so, I've been in CES and Las Vegas, uh, shooting lots of stuff there. And I've been using primarily the DJI Pocket Osmo that I bought back in, in December. Uh, but one of the challenges has always been the audio of it. And so the audio on this unit isn't horrible and that's whether it's you know indoors or even out riding a bike and all that kind of stuff but there hasn't been a way to attach a mic to it now if you'd searched on youtube and stuff you would see people that said oh they've tried different usbc uh to microphone adapters and in fact dji themselves has talked about one uh, but none of those actually worked in part because dji's own adapter wasn't available yet and so people have been like posting videos saying they're using adapters but frankly it they're they're like fake news videos. They don't actually work. And the reason is that most of these adapters are proprietary to the companies that made them. So for example, the Apple adapter here, USB-C, that plugs in the bottom to microphone jack is proprietary to Apple. It works on Apple, but if you use it on a GoPro, for example, no worky. Uh, same here for the overpriced GoPro adapter. You know, like this one was, I only bought it for nine bucks on sale, but it's actually like, I think 20 bucks normally, uh, the Apple one, whereas the GoPro one is like 60 bucks, something ridiculous, um, but it only works on GoPro. And so on. And so it allows you to take any microphone, whether it be something like this, you know, Rode shotgun mic or this also Rode kind of smaller action camera type mic or the lav mic that you're listening to right now and plug it into the Osmo Pocket. Uh, but that adapter hasn't been available until now. And actually now it's still not available, but I've got one, which is all that really matters for the context of this video. And this little thing right there is that adapter. In fact, this entire time you're listening to the audio recorded on the Pocket Osmo right there um, with that adapter going on through. In fact, I've been using it for the last week or so and been pretty impressed with it. Uh, now this is a bit of a loner. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Uh, but one of the ways you can tell that most of those videos are fake is the tap test, um, which sounds sort of silly, but almost every video I saw on YouTube where someone had uh, an adapter they claimed to work, they never tapped, they just talked and they unplugged it and said, hey, it sounds the same. Uh, and it did because it was never using the microphone. Uh, so let me just kind of demonstrate this really quickly here. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna tap the microphone. Uh, and when I do that, you'll be able to one, hear the taps and two, I'll switch the screen on this and you can see the tapping on the screen itself. Uh, so here we go. That, that's tapping, pretty straightforward, right? Um, now, if I were to unplug the microphone, what's gonna happen is it's gonna still keep on re recording, which is kind of cool, um, but when I do the tap test, you won't hear the tapping anymore. Also, when I unplug the microphone, you're gonna hear what it sounds like from the Osmo Pockets microphone, so it won't be quite as clear as this, so here we go. Plug now, it's still recording just fine. I'm gonna do the tap test now. And you didn't hear that. It didn't sound like the loud thumping tap test. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in again, right there. And uh, now we're back onto this microphone. That is just super cool. And I'll kind of show this in some other settings as well. And again, if I go back and tap, it works just fine. Okay, now before we dive too far into this, if you're finding this interesting, go ahead and whack that like button. It definitely does help out the channel quite a bit. I appreciate it. Also, if you're looking to have like a comparison between the DJI Pocket Osmo and a GoPro uh, Hero 7 uh, from like a sports standpoint, I've got that coming up in about a week or so. I wanna get one more mountain biking trip in first uh, to kind of explain some of the nuances and differences between those two. It is certainly interesting. Uh, I think in general, the GoPro is gonna win, but there are some scenarios where this is just Ooh, it's so much better. So uh, stay tuned for that in the, in the next uh, week or two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a couple tests here. Uh, one, you've now heard what it sounds like with and without uh, the microphone adapter, if you will. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to the convention sh floor, the show floor last week where I shot some stuff. And that's where I think it's most valuable because in that scenario, there's tons of other noise out there, lots of stuff where you want like a small lav mic. Uh, and again, for this setup, the way it works is you have this small little adapter piece right there in the middle, a USB-C, and then it connects with any 3.5 mil mic that you want to stick in there. Oh, and one quick note on adapters and mics, uh, depending on what kind of microphone you have, you may need a TRRS to TRS connector, which is this little piece that you see right in the middle there. Uh, this one is the Rode SC3 adapter, uh, but you can find cheap ones on Amazon for almost nothing. The way you can tell it depends on if there are two rings right there or if there are three rings like this as soon as I unplug this. Anyways, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go off from the show floor and I'm gonna show you what it looked like on in CES. Uh, I, in my case, happen to use a lav mic because that's what works best for my particular setup. I just happen to use this the most. I do have the Rode shotgun mic that I mentioned, the other mic 
Both of them work just fine with this setup. I tested that, but this is what I use. This is a $55 mic. Um, you can get more expensive mics, but I think, you know, if you're using the, the Pocket Osmo, you want something small. And for what I wanted, I wanted something I could just hold out like this, shoot really easily, and you kind of run and gun. Uh, so first, let's go to the short floor. Okay, so here we are inside, and you're listening right now to the audio on the microphone, my USB-C adapter, the whole bit. Uh, and there's quite a bit of ambient noise around me here in the halls, which is normal for most conventions. Uh, now, if I go ahead and unplug the adapter right there, I can do that. Now the adapter is in my hand, and you're listening to the onboard audio from the unit itself. Uh, and you can hear it's obviously quite a bit louder. I'll go ahead and I'll back to the exact same section there since keep the noise kind of very similar there. Uh, but you know, tons more noise, and it's not horrible. Like it's usable for a lot of scenarios, but not necessarily for what I want in particular. So I'm gonna go and plug it back in again. There we go. I mean, at this point, it's back on to the microphone audio. I do like the fact that I can just do that whenever I want. Kind of pretty handy as I just start some big uh, thing there. Okay, as you saw there, pretty darn good. I mean, that, that worked really darn well for me. Uh, I used it all week. I did learn some things over the course of the week, most with the camera itself and just framing more than the microphone. The microphone side was really easy. Uh, so then let's talk about outside in windier conditions, which is where some people have had challenges with uh, this particular unit. Now, the very first day I was in Vegas, I went out for a ride uh, and I didn't actually have the microphone adapter yet. So I had to shoot it without that. And it was mostly acceptable throughout the entire ride. So their noise cancellation on the microphones is pretty darn good. Uh, so they actually have one microphone on the bottom there and one on the, on the front side, however you want to call that there. Uh, so they help to cancel each other out. And so it is impressive. But what you notice though is when you put the GoPro adapter on there, which is what you probably use if you were riding a bike, um, that tends to create a small wind tunneling kind of noise. And GoPro themselves actually used to have problems with that on their Hero 6 and prior lineup, not so much on the Hero 7. Uh, but still it's, it's there. And so now listen to this as we go outside. I'm going to show you uh, with the adapter and without the adapter and you can kind of hear the two differences. Okay, so here we are with the cable plugged in. Uh, so the adapter's in there. I'm using my mic that you have. You can see just down below my chin there, same lav mic as everything else. Uh, and it's what I tend to use for cycling. It works pretty well. Going about 20, almost 22 miles an hour right now. Uh, so kind of cooking along. But the audio is totally usable with this adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the adapter out here, hopefully without dropping anything. Come on, come out a little. So now the adapter's out. The phone or the, uh, Pocket Osmo is in the exact same spot for my mouth, and you can hear the differences there. Uh, if I turn the camera around, probably a bit more of a difference. So, facing the other direction here, as we keep on cruising along, uh, and you can see this is where some of the wind noise is definitely a bit more obvious in this particular setup. Uh, but for me, the adapter works great. I can even plug it back in again if I uh, use both hands while I'm riding, which isn't too bad actually. So there we go, back in again and we're cooking on, cooking no problem. So uh, for me, this is like perfect. I've been shooting videos like this uh, with it and it's just, it's working out great for me. Okay, so as you heard, uh, it definitely makes a difference. It does depend a little bit on the wind and the angle and where your hand is and all that kind of stuff. And that's one of the challenges is that certainly this microphone is pretty good, but if I were to hold it in the wrong way, if I cover up, for example, that noise cancellation port there, um, then that makes it worse and stuff. And so it's tough to like say that it's always gonna be good without a microphone and always gonna be bad. It just, again, depends on how you hold it and where the wind's coming from and your voice and all that kind of stuff. But for me, with the microphone, a lav mic like this, I can shoot while I'm riding. I can shoot while I'm running. I can do anything with this uh, and it's just fine. So the real question is price. In that, we don't know yet. So I talked to the DJI folks there and they don't know yet either. They just happen to have a couple sample units that I was able to, to steal and borrow. Um, so this is definitely not sponsored by them. I will send this back to them uh, when I'm done with it here. And I bought the rest of all the overpriced uh, pocket Osmo accessories myself. Um, they don't even know pricing yet for or availability. Uh, the fact that they did have demo units that they say just came in, they were just shipped to CES, is probably a good sign though. That tells you that they're probably pretty darn close uh, to having production units. My guess is maybe a couple weeks away. That's usually the way it works knowing DJI in the past is that it's one of those like, once they have prototypes, it's usually like two to three weeks out before they've got um, a final unit shipping. Uh, the price, again, they also didn't know that either. They legitimately had no idea yet. Um, my bet though is be 20, between 20 and 30 bucks. So their existing smartphone adapter, that piece that fits right there, uh, is 19 bucks. That's my guess. That's pretty much in line with Apple's is 20 bucks for this. Um, I don't think they're gonna pull a GoPro and, and charge like 
50 or 60, whatever crazy amount this thing is here. Um, I think they're probably going to stay between 20 and 30. That's my hope anyways. And if that's the case, I think that's relatively reasonable. In fact, probably the cheapest pocket Osmo accessory there is since everything else is, is incredibly expensive. Um, anyways, there you go. Look at that. Uh, it's something that as soon as I can buy one myself, I will definitely do because uh, it's like the perfect setup for me and for what I do especially for trade shows, the idea to just take this, hold it up and shoot, even without the phone. I shot most of my stuff without the phone. Uh, so I don't need the phone at all to make this work. By the way, I can use just the uh, Pocket Osmo with the microphone as I did in the bike. In fact, that was without the phone. Uh, it is like the perfect setup for me. Anyways, if you found this interesting, definitely go ahead and whack that like or subscribe button at the bottom. I appreciate it. Have a good one.